Welcome back to Mr. B's for a little more cyclone talk here today at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. Tim Sitzman, you are open today, open for business. We are open after it being closed to that awful storm we had yesterday, but uh, the parking lot's clear, the sun's out, and uh, we're ready to go. We got a lot of inventory, and we'd like to invite you in. We got about 14 shopping days left, and uh, might be time to look at the coat and the scarf and the gloves. You know, it's a little chilly out there, Chris. I think you're right. That caught me off guard a little bit yesterday. Actually, I'd left my coat in, <laughs> in one of my friend's cars. I had nothing a couple uh, days ago. A little chilly out there with that wind blowing yesterday. But uh, we are open and uh, 14, 13, 14 days left of Christmas. And, you know, this is the time of the season. It really gets in your blood and you want to get something done. And it's a hustle and bustle. And we got plenty of stuff. Stop at Mr. B's at 1995 Northwest 86th Street and see all our professionals here that can help you with all your uh, gift needs. Man, these are professionals walking around here. They get you set up. Uh, maybe a holiday party, a little job interview. Absolutely. We're ready to go for all those gift or for your personal needs. So stop and see us. You know where I'm ready to go, Tim, is, is that's, that's Phoenix. Boy, isn't inside. that exciting? Isn't that exciting? I think the matchup, as we've talked earlier off off camera, that uh, we couldn't have picked a better matchup. And it's a it's a tribute to Paul Rhodes and his uh, start with the Cyclones this year that the, there's interest in that program and what he's done. And uh, I think this is going to be a great, great opportunity for uh, Cyclone fans to see a win in a, in a bowl game. It'll be a great time. Well, and I think that Minnesota is a team that's lacking right now. They're having issues. They're Head coach could be leaving. That's, that's out there right now. Their offense is really inept uh, at this point in time. A little better on the defensive end of the football, but, Tim, I think this is a game where, you know, I, I think Iowa State has I really, really like their chances, maybe by a couple of touchdowns. Does that sound bad to say no, that? No, no, I really like their chances. But what, what I really like in, in the Cyclones uh, football program is that we're a program growing up. Yeah. rather than being like Minnesota, who's kind of in, in that limbo, not knowing where they're going. And, and we've been there in the past, and yeah. right now we're in an upswing. And I, I think it's a tribute to uh, Coach Rhodes and his staff and, and, and you fans out there who've, who've backed him through this season. And it's going to be time to take off that winter coat and go to go to Phoenix. Head to Tempe. Yeah. you got to love the sound of that tonight. Iowa, Iowa State women's basketball tomorrow night. The men will go at it. We saw the wrestlers um, hit the mat this past Sunday. Tim, what a what a guy. Uh, I know that you're awfully fond of Bill Finley, Iowa State's women's basketball coach. I, I am. And you, you look last year what he was able to do with that program and taking them to the Elite Eight and, and doing a terrific job. And he, he just keeps filling the shelves again with quality players. Uh, he's a coach that brings a player in that, that'll work together and he forms a team. And that's a, that's important in sports. And I think he's going to get a win against the uh, Cyclones. I mean, against the Hawkeyes tonight. Uh, and I really do. I, I think you're right. I mean, how, how do you not pick Bill Finley? In this um, game at home, right. a couple of young basketball teams. Uh, Cyclone Fanatic will be there covering the ball game for you tonight, so uh, stay tuned to that. Tomorrow night, you have the men going at it. Uh, a couple of teams who I would say are struggling at this point in time. Iowa, we halfway expected that. Um, Iowa State lost to Cal. They've now lost three basketball games in a row, but I think you and I are both agreeing. It's, it's really not time to panic or throw in the towel yet on this Iowa State basketball season. No, reading some of the blogs, I think the fans got to settle down a little bit. Coach McDermott's building a team for the future. He's got great, great uh, quality players on that. You know, with a, an All-American, perceivably, uh, yeah. on, on the floor to watch. He, the fans got to enjoy the ball game. And uh, <laughs> I, I really believe that at, when we get into Big 12 play, we're going to see a a quality team that's going to come together. We need a little point guard help there, but other than that, I think they're going to come together. And, and Coach McDermott, uh, I hope he's there for the long haul. He's a quality guy, and he, I think he's in the right place for you fans out there. Hang in there with him. I think mm -hmm. he's going to be wonderful down the stretch. And he said in his press conference on Monday, and this kind of stuck with me, he goes, there's a lot bigger things in life than basketball. He was alluding to Iowa head coach Todd Licklider, because he, he's been having the health issues, and we hope Coach Licklider will be we in attendance. We wish him well. We it, wish him well. It yeah. doesn't sound like he will be there tomorrow night, but, boy, that would be a great thing if Coach Licklider could uh, make the appearance at Hilton Coliseum. But, you know, Max said that on Monday, and then I've been watching Jimmy V Week right. on ESPN. Right. Um, had an opportunity to watch his famous speech for, uh, in the 90s. Right. There is a lot more in basketball, and, and I think Tim's right. I mean, it, at some point, I, I know everybody's a passionate fan out there. We're passionate guys. Absolutely. But you got to take a deep breath every once in a while and just, just, just relax. Long season. I think Tim hit that 
perfectly. There's a lot of basketball yet to be played. A lot of basketball, and, and conference play is really what, what every every team strives to do is, is win a conference. And, and when we get into Big 12 play, I think we're going to see a team that's going to come together, gel a little bit. This is preseason in a, in a way, mm -hmm. and we want to win every time as a fan, but I, I truly believe that we're going to see a better team and, and progressively as we get into the year, and, and we hope the NCAA is in the future, and I think it is. Yeah. You got to hang in there with your coaches and, and be a good fan. I mean, enjoy the game for what the game brings us, and a lot of entertainment, and a win is a win, and we all want them. But uh, I think Coach McDermott, I, my hat's off to him and recognize that there's more to life than, a, than basketball. I, my hat's off to him. What's your pick? You like Iowa State or Iowa? I, I, I like Iowa State. I think Iowa's just struggling uh, quite a bit. And we've talked about a little this morning that the, the Hawkeyes certainly have a, a threat from the perimeter. But I think that'll be taken away by the inside game uh, of, the, of the Iowa State Cyclones. And, and I, I think it's going to be... Uh, up and down, but in the end, I think it's going to be a 10-point game, really, for the Clones. Yeah, and I, I think the only chance Iowa has is if they come in and they have the ability, they, they have the ability but can they knock down the three-point shot? Um, they're going to live and die by that, as they have a lot this year, but they're going to do it tomorrow night as well. If they can slow Iowa State down, knock down the three, uh, Iowa State's got to grab some defensive rebounds. You can't allow these teams to keep getting as many offensive boards as they have been. If Iowa State can get into that transition game that we've seen them do, Clones could win this thing by 20, 25 points. They could blow it out, perceivably. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I really look at the 10, 12-point game just because Iowa State's still trying to find that game that works for them. Yeah, but I, I think that you're right. Because uh, I, I think Iowa will show up to play. They're going to be playing for their head basketball coach as well. But um, I think we're both pretty much in agreement here. We like the Cyclones by double digits tomorrow night. Tim, open all weekend here, Mr. We're, B. We're open all week. Our hours are 10 to 7, Monday through Thursday, 10 to 6 on Friday. We're uh, 9 to 5 on Saturday. And we're open at Sunday for those who want to come out on Sunday from uh, noon to 4. So, uh, like I said, 14 days left. And uh, I'd love to see you. All you fans, come in and say hello. Guess how much shopping I've gotten done this year? I, I hope a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Go buy a jersey. <laughs> okay. I need to go buy a lot of things for a lot of people. So 14 days, you say? We're yeah. ca counting down here, Mr. B. Get your ticket for the inside bowl. I think it's going to be fun. All right. That's what I'm getting for Christmas at Trim to Tempe. That's, well, that's all I want. Be great. Go Clones. Tim, thanks a lot. Uh, this is Cyclone Fanatic. Uh, we're talking Cyclones here today, as we do each and every Thursday from Mr. B's. North, or 1995 Northwest 86. I'll help you on that one. In Clive. Thanks a lot, Tim. You bet.